ladies and gentlemen we have landed ourselves in the new remastered heroic anthem kvk we are one of the first kingdoms that is getting the chance to check out the new graphics inside a kvk map and so in today's video we're going to take a look at a couple of key components of this new kvk the new graphics really the graphics shouldn't be that surprising to you guys if you've seen my previous videos on this topic you know what the new graphics look like there hasn't been any changes from what i can tell from those videos up until now for this new remastered kvk but there are a couple of things that i do want to show off and also we'll go over the kvk we'll go over the allies and all the things like that and then later in the video i'll show off the different commander pairings and everything that i'm going to be using for this kvk so make sure you stay tuned for that but first what's going on guys cheers now the first thing i want to show off here is the great ziggurat i think the design of the great zig looks incredible it looks imposing a little bit ancient a little bit badass okay i like the design of this quite a bit if you recall from the videos where we covered the new graphics in the home kingdom you'll know that this great ziggurat does look different than the lost temple at the center of your home kingdom map so i think that looks really nice let's take a look at some of the other structures here on the map we have the citadels off in the corners here these are basically just massive catapult towers taking a look at the altars of darkness i don't actually know if the altars are different i i mean now that i think about it i don't know if i've ever really paid attention to what the altar itself looks like is that different or not i have no idea here we have one of the level six passes that leads into the altar and one thing that i don't remember who pointed this out in the test server discord but one thing that was pointed out is that you actually can't click on the walls of the pass anymore now i know that's like you might be thinking why would that even matter but a lot of times when you're clicking to like reinforce to a pass you want to be able to click on as much of the pass as possible and so now the only parts of the pass that you can click on are actually like the very center of the gate so i don't know what that i don't know if that was intentional or if they're going to change that but like i can't even click on the towers here i can't click on the left and right sides i think it's because this is just basically a reskin and so the pass looks bigger than it was before and so maybe that's it i have no idea moving on over to the circles this is what the circle of courage looks like and it does also have that sort of golden autumn theme or that fall time theme that we see with a lot of the holy sites here with the new graphics which i think looks really nice again i put it out when they first showed off these autumn graphics it reminded me of the Eversong woods zone in world of warcraft it's not quite as like you know high fantasy magical as that but it did give me that vibe it's a similar color palette also these new graphics kind of give me like a spyro early spyro the dragon vibe i don't know if that's just me but i i do get that early spyro like it's it's magical fantasy but it's just gently so you know i don't know i love it a lot that's what the circles look like here next let's take a look at the tempest sanctuary this is what the sanctuary looks like and of course once again we have the same sort of holy site design here taking a look at the crusader camp this kind of just looks like a sort of outpost which i think looks really cool this is what the bastions look like here we have the belisarius bastion i'm definitely going to accept that for the animal bones we love that and last but not least we have the ruined crusader fortress over here in your starting zone so all in all some of the different buildings have definitely gotten a really nice facelift other buildings i literally cannot tell if they've gotten a facelift besides like like the nice circle of autumn trees around it because it's just now occurring to me that I literally don't pay attention to these buildings at all they literally don't matter to me so anyway that's that and the other thing I want to point out here is that one thing a lot of people mentioned when they revealed the new graphics is like that's great but like the barbarians still look old and ugly and like the armies out in the world still look kind of old and ugly right and that's true but the devs already said that they're going to redo that, right? Like, so like they didn't, they're doing this in pieces, right? So we're first doing home kingdom. Maybe then we'll do some of the KVK maps. And then over time, eventually they're going to do the barbarians and everything else that shows up on the map. Because I mean, at this point, it is abundantly clear that like the, the armies and the barbs look way worse than everything else on the map. It is instantly noticeable to me how much worse these look now, now that we're in a new map. And so I'm looking forward to the future when they do actually update these models out in the world but for right now we're still using the old models we're kind of in this transition period and I think that's fine I mean like we'll just have to be patient until those things do get updated eventually as well now the other thing I want to point out is that in the graphics settings there is no way 
to turn off the new graphics okay i know in my original video when i talked about the new graphics coming to the game i mentioned in the test server there was the ability to switch back to the old graphics in this kvk there is no way to switch back and i think that that is i mean there's a couple of reasons why that might be first of all the whole point of this heroic anthem is to test the new graphics right so if they just let players turn it off that would completely defeat the purpose of this being sort of the initial test phase right i mean obviously and also I think it's because the build of the game that I'm running like if I click head home right here I'm gonna go back to my home kingdom which will have the original graphics and in that case well why would my settings give me the choice if there is no choice right I can only have the old graphics and so I don't think that this is confirmation that when the graphics do roll out to the entire game I don't think this is confirmation that we're not going to be able to switch back and forth but I did want to at least point out that at least for right now in this test version of the KVK there is no way to turn off the new graphics you're just going to have to play with them and it is what it is now a couple of other things that I want to point out here one thing you'll notice is you see the this line this is this is a you know somebody's marching through and it does blend behind the tree which I think is amazing you want to know what else should probably blend behind the tree the border of the territory like you could see that the border goes right through this mountain which is like it's always done that like on the old graphics but it's way more noticeable here on the new graphics and it, it kind of just like throws me off a little bit like as the as I move around the map the camera perspective changes for like the tree and the mountains and everything as it gets closer to the bottom of the screen you can see you're kind of looking more top down here whereas from here you can see the whole side of the mountain right and so as I'm moving around I can the, the the camera perspective changes which is beautiful but the territory is static right and I think that's what gives it like this weird like it's kind of like layered underneath all the graphics I don't know if there's a way to fix that without like because you don't want to block the visibility of the territory too much right like you want to know exactly where the territory is so it's important that the whole territory be visible but it does look a little bit weird as it like cuts through all the different uh, textures and new graphics and things like that so I don't know I'm sure this is one of those things that like I'll just get used to it but it did like I did notice it immediately oh we're gonna get to do this live baby we're gonna hit 200 on the legendary chest let's go oh we got food okay who should I pick from the chest I don't even need anybody I I guess I'll take Margaret like I, there's just not a world where I use literally anything else here and even Margaret I don't plan on using but like a lot of these are like wheel commanders too like Honda and stuff so that's easier to get than Margaret or maybe I should just get something for Bastion bonuses I guess I'll just get Margaret I don't know two one 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 baby let's go okay next let's talk about my KVK itself as you can see here our good friend RK sent out the information sent out the details a couple of days ago okay we are in fire camp our camp mates are 1169 we are allied with water camp which is 1164 and 2536 and the enemies are going to be on the other side of the map which is earth and wind that is 2732 and 3202 wind camp being at 1079 and 2992 of course with heroic anthem this is the map here we are in fire camp and we're allied with water so it's going to be the left side of the map versus the right side of the map it should be a really interesting kvk hopefully it won't be as draining as my last kvk because that was actually insane i don't have any goals for this kvk i actually think a couple of the key dates are going to line up with certain like i might not actually be home for some of the key dates here which is going to be really frustrating so we'll see how that goes but we've already got the cursed mines level 25 we got the research center to 23 this is day one baby you see we already kind of breeze through some of the early tech here we didn't go super hard with the attack here I went mainly for March speed for a lot of this stuff and also the call to arms obviously and so that's about as far as we got obviously we can't do anything here until we finish out some of this other stuff here so I'm just kind of going back and doing the attack now but basically all of my starter crystals for this kvk and some of the pop-up bundles went into just building a really strong foundation for the rest of kvk like obviously we're gonna have a lot of crystals from karaku and the barbs and of course we already did our easy mode trial of the ko karak that was done on day one we did all our bastions and everything so we're off to a good start as far as crystal economy goes basically all i need to do now is just focus on attack and march speed for the rest of the kvk and that's going to be pretty much it i never max out tech i'm not like a rally or garrison leader also i just don't like crystal tech so i try to spend as little on it as possible which i mean it is what it is but i do 
still want to be a little bit competitive in the field right i don't want to get stomped by everything speaking of the field let's go over some of the commander pairings we're going to be running in this kvk the first commander pairing is going to be well of course nevsky joan now in my previous kvk i did say that huo joan was performing a little bit better so i might flip that around we'll see once again i'm going to be playing around with that this is currently my better set of cavalry gear as you can see pretty much all of it is iconic one except for the legs i haven't really been focusing on putting my iconic crystals into my cavalry armies because they are some of the older armies that i've been running here obviously calves with belisarius prime that wasn't that exciting to me and so i just really haven't been going like harder into calves so we'll see if that changes in the future but this is what we're rocking with right now we do have the talent on the helmet which is actually quite nice and taking a look at the armaments here a lot of the armaments for pretty much all my armies haven't changed since last kvk i've gotten really unlucky with my armaments i don't spend on armaments by the way like i know a lot of whales and endgame players do i hate the system to be completely frank with you guys it's just a horrible system so i just don't spend money on it really there's an occasionally for like recharge rewards i might grab a bundle here or there but i'm never maxing those bundles out because i just don't like it i just like i i i'm okay with spending money in the game i'll spend money on things that i actually like this is sort of the stats that we have here for the cavalry and we got a little bit of march speed 4.2 percent all damage is really the star of the show here for this set and we got a couple of different inscriptions here as i alluded to before my other cavalry army is going to stay huo with william belisarius prime again it just wasn't that exciting to me i'm not the type of player that's going to be swarming down structures i'm not the type of player that's going to be swarming down rallies or counter rallies or anything like that i mean unless it's like a dire need there's no other whales online like i i will do it i did it in my last two kvks but i try not to do it that much there are much stronger bigger players in my kingdom that do that all the time so belisarius prime just wasn't like it for me also belisarius prime's damage factor if you do the math is just lower than williams like if william hits two targets he's already dealing more damage than belisarius prime with the active skill plus it's very supportive i don't know i just don't see a reason to change william for belisarius prime right now i mean it that just is what it is if i find that he does super well this kvk maybe i'll reconsider it but i just don't think belisarius prime is a worthy investment for me at this moment in time taking a look at my second set of gear for my huo this is my second cavalry set again this is kind of like my leftover pieces i am saving up my materials right now to craft another legendary accessory and i'm trying to decide if i want to craft another ring and just throw the ring in here or if i want to craft the greatest glory because this gives you five percent more normal damage we'll talk about that later in the video i'm kind of uh, on the fence between those things but anyway this is my second set of cav gear and it's totally fine i mean really heart of the saint is a great piece even though it is still obviously an epic piece with the talent silent trial with the talent is i'm gonna be honest guys like it's kind of good like i know it's not legendary so you're not getting the base stats for health but like in a world where there's so many ways to get rage silent trial is just like it's a sleeper pick it's kind of like an anti-meta pick to be honest with you guys it's i mean 13 rage for every basic attack pretty good taking a look at the armaments here we have again this is my second set for cavalry so it's not the best but it is definitely more stats there's no march speed or all damage here but more stats and we have of course well clad and war hunger as well decent stuff here not the best thing in the world but again not really spending on that anyway my third army is my single archer march and this is of course Zhuge Liang with Herman Prime I only run one archer march and this is obviously the best single march that you can run it is incredible nothing has really changed here for this march except for I have iconic four on the boots I kind of rushed this I think this was like my number one priority for a while because I know how slow archers feel and I just wanted that extra five percent march speed as soon as possible because it just they just feel slow man they just feel slow so I went straight for iconic four on the dragon's breath boots here everything else is fine still running a two-piece epic here it still performs fine we'll see if that still remains true in this kvk but really I think the talent on the chest and the gloves kind of makes up for it in the stat department we got tons of archer health here tons of archer attack here which is nice and of course we have the ring and the horn here which is great taking a look at the armaments here I got a ton of archer defense here a little bit of health a little bit of all damage eight percent attack and we have combo really great stuff here for skill damage respite taking less damage and assertive as well two percent all damage love that I think overall decent stats decent armaments I didn't use any transmutation stones on three of these pieces right like I literally just got them out of the box like that which was great and I only used five transmutation stones on this piece right or I should say five transmutations don't remember how many stones it was but yeah like this is just out of the box how I got these pretty much so with that being said I feel like I got really lucky with that and that's probably not going to change much it is my only archer march so I don't focus on it too much but that is that my 
fourth army that we're going to be running here is probably and this is not set in stone yet but it is probably going to be guan with cpo still to this day and i'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a second but of course this is currently i think my best total set of infantry gear as you can see we have a talent on the ring and the legs and on the chest piece iconic in everything iconic four for the legs iconic three for the chest iconic five for the boots so we get the extra five percent march speed and five percent march speed on top of that when we're outside of the territory which is really nice i do want to work on getting these with the talent of course we have iconic two for the hammer here i do have another blueprint i'm trying to think if i want to do this probably gonna wait on the iconic three i know the troop could capacity is nice but there are other things that I think are a little bit more important for my account right now so that's gonna have to wait a little bit longer but this set of gear will probably move to my Liu Che and we'll talk about that in just a second but this is my best infantry set looking at my wedge formation for infantry we could see decent stats here a little bit of March speed a little bit of all damage wish it was a little bit more there but the stat spread is solid we have Ward devious Eclipse and enduring so dealing more skill damage taking less skill damage dealing more counter attack damage Damage and taking less damage with ward again decent stuff here I don't think anything has changed on this set either since last kbk and my final army that we're going to be talking about here is Liu Che with Alex now of course the elephant in the room is Alexander the Great what's going to be going on here we of course have William Wallace coming to the game very soon and it will probably drop during this kbk right so really my expectation is that I will be getting William Wallace I'll be expertising William William Wallace and I'm either going to be depending on the smite tree I will either either run it as a primary with Liu Che and that's pretty much honestly that's pretty much it we'll see how it does if it performs better than Alexander the Great amazing if it doesn't we'll just throw Alex back on there and the reason that I'm hesitant to say that it is definitely going to be better than Alex is because of course the instant proc with Alex is amazing with Liu Che and of course he also just got his double relic which I still have to invest in I I mean I might as well just get it right like let's just do it we're here we'll, we'll do it we get extra defense so for the first couple of fights before William Wallace comes around at least we'll have this on the account so we are looking golden there which we love to see if it turns out that the instant proc debuff and stat distribution on Alex is just better than William Wallace because for whatever reason maybe the smite tree is trash that'll be super unfortunate like that was the case with Gorgo like it turned out to be like she's great in the field but Alex was just as good but faster so I used Alex instead he's a little bit easier to use than Gorgo as well you don't have to like full send full commit you can go in and out and just get the procs here which is nice the other thing too with William Wallace coming to the game is maybe Maybe there's an opportunity to do a CPO prime primary with William Wallace secondary and that could be another play where we just do Liu Che with Alex and then CPO prime primary with William Wallace secondary my only gripe with that is is William Wallace's kit just better than the AOE you get from Guan and the bonus damage on the fourth skill and that is something that I really don't know the answer to I know Guan is old I know he's squishy I know he's kind of vanilla but 2000 damage factor AOE three second silence this is just still one of the best active skills in the open field it's just so unbelievable it's just it's so hard to put him on the bench it's just it's so good we'll have to wait and see and if he does it'll be for William Wallace if he doesn't we'll talk about that in another video taking a look at the equipment on the Liu Che this is obviously my second set of infantry gear here and we don't have iconic crystals in the helmet or the gloves and we do have of course the dagger on Liu Che as well because it procs with the bonus combo attacks on his fourth skill or his expertise I should say I do just want to point out maybe I'll make this into a YouTube short or something like that but his expertise has not changed you guys I've gotten a lot of comments about this the devs made it very clear in their release in their patch notes this has not changed this this expertise functions I say exactly how it has always functioned people have already tested it it does still function exactly how it always has the only thing that they changed is they worded this differently so that way it's easier to understand they didn't do a great job at that but really they changed the word basic attack to combo attack the only difference between a combo attack and a basic attack is that a combo attack does not trigger an enemy counter attack but the damage factor being 200 has not changed basic attacks always have done 200 damage factor you also gain a basic attacks worth of rage which we've already discussed here on the channel that it has been tested and proven the only thing that's wrong about this is one second cooldown the expertise has never had a one second cooldown and it still does not have a one second cooldown don't know why they put that here you can trigger his expertise back to back to back there is no cooldown on it I think what they meant to say was that there is a cooldown during the turn that it triggers because you can't like your combo attack cannot trigger 
the expertise for Liu Che. So for example, launch a basic attack, trigger the expertise and the expertise triggers the expertise again. Does that make sense? I think that's what they were trying to say with the cooldown here. Still very unclear, but hopefully if you guys have been wondering about Liu Che's expertise, hopefully that clears it up for you guys. Don't worry about this. Don't think about it. It has not changed. It is identical. It's still broken. It's still very good. They just changed the text and it is slightly wrong. Looking at the formation here, looking at the armaments, this has changed a little bit since last video. You can see we have a ton of attack, decent health, no all damage, unfortunately, but we do have five inscriptions here. We have extra all damage from Valiant. Fearsome is extra all damage. So 2% all damage alert gives me two and a half percent more counter attack damage. Cohesive gives me 2% all damage over 50% units remaining, which I think is pretty good. You're often going to be over 50% units remaining. So overall that would be 4% all damage so far, as long as I'm over 50% and smite gives me 2% more normal damage, which is also 2% more smite damage, which is going to be great. And yeah, this is probably the most change that, that I've had for any of the formations. It is what it is. And so we'll probably be running William Wallace with our Liu Che at some point during this KVK. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. Of course, I am excited to try out the new remastered graphics in KVK. We're going to see how it affects the frame rate of my PC, maybe on my phone. We'll see if it actually causes my phone to overheat. I was playing for a couple of hours on my phone earlier when I was doing my crystal tech and all that other stuff. My phone did not get any hotter than it normally does. So there was nothing there. Of course, that's going to happen mainly during fighting. So I didn't really expect it to, but it's worth noting that my phone doesn't just run hotter as a baseline at least. So there's that. Of course, my computer doesn't either. My computer has been just fine so far, but we'll see how the game actually performs during real fighting here in KVK. I'm really looking forward to see how that affects the frame rates. I do suspect that everyone's just going to be fighting in dot mode or strategic view like they always do and I'm excited to try out the new strategic view they implemented that into the game in between kvks for me so this will be my first time actually fighting with that which is going to be nice and hopefully the server for these new remastered graphics is 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 solid right because I feel like a lot of people have been super misled throughout this whole remaster graphics thing graphics don't cause lag I don't know how many like different ways that I can say that I mean it's just objectively like I feel like I've said that a million times but like people are still very confused about that and I guess it's not really my job to convince people like I don't care what people think but graphics are rendered on your hardware and lag is your connection to the server so like they're totally different they're totally different things so fingers crossed that the server is good for this kvk because then we'll know for sure any like input delay or any frame rate things that'll all be related to the graphics that's what people are actually wondering about the frame rate not lag you guys are not using the right words so anyway guys with that being said make sure you comment down below your thoughts on everything and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and it'll help get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload rise of kingdoms with that being said guys thank you so we're running the round of the base.